Hi, I've just finished a super thriller that I've got from Ned Galley and it's The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly and it comes out on the 1st of September. And wow, those of you that are of my age will remember back in the late 1970s there was a book called Masquerade by Kit Williams and it was a picture puzzle book type thing. Somewhere in Britain he had buried a jewelled golden hair and the whole of this book with pictures was a clue to where to find this hair and it inspired so many people hunting for this hair. It was eventually found I think two or three years after the book was published if I've got that right but if yeah whatever. This book takes that as a, a springboard and we have Funk Churcher who created a book called The Golden Bones. He took a folk tale that his wife used to sing and turned it into a puzzle book, the same way that Masquerade was. And rather than have one item, the folk tale is about a woman whose husband dismembers her body and scatters her bones. And so he had golden bones created, which he buried in different parts. And so people became bone hunters. They were hunting for a skull. They were hunting for ribs. They were hunting for a pelvis. They were, they were hunting for all these little golden skeletons. And it became an almost obsession because people wanted Eleanor, who was the, the woman in the folk tale, Eleanor to rise again and she could only rise when every part of her had been found and it became such an obsession that with one bone missing Frank's daughter was attacked because they wanted her bone and she she, she survived because the, the book is predominantly about her and this all happens at the beginning of the book so I'm not giving any spoilers away so this is the the premise of the book. We are taken 50 years on to the 50th anniversary of this book and the pelvis is still missing. It still hasn't been found. But what Frank is doing at the 50th anniversary, he's relaunching the Golden Bones for the digital age. He's going to reveal the Golden Bone, the Golden Pelvis, so the skeleton is complete. And he's going to introduce a new quest almost, but for the digital age. So it's through apps and you've got sort of, is it, it's, I was going to say geophys, it's not geophys. I can't remember the te technical word for it, but you know, when you can search things on your, your phone. So that is the, the premise of the story. But as it's a thriller, it doesn't quite happen that way and we have murder, we have secrets, we have twists, we have a puzzle that we can't, you know, we, we struggle to solve and the police struggle to solve and it is super, it is really super. I got turned in different directions because you've got so many characters. You've got Frank Churcher and his wife Cora, you've got their door their son and daughter, Dom and Nell. You've got Lal, who has been with Frank for years. He is part of Frank's history as well. He, he sort of didn't so much help to create the, the Golden Bones back in, back in the day, but the families are really close. They live together. There's Lal and his wife, Bridget, and their daughter, Rose. And then you've got the grandchildren as well. So you've got all these characters and then you've got the bone hunters as well who have been searching for this golden pelvis for years and years and years and years and you are thrown in all sorts of different directions. Ultimately I suppose it's the story of abuse and betrayal, the value of family and also fame the desire to have fame at any cost. 
a brilliant tale. Comes out on the 1st of September. A real page turner, a real puzzle. And another winner from Erin Kelly. So, The Skeleton Key. Take care. Happy reading. <laughs>